We discussed in a previous video how browser extensions have violated privacy by selling users' information to data brokers. There have been extension viruses in malware, extensions have been used as trojans, and extensions can access all of the data communicated between browsers and websites, opening up the potential for key logging and sensitive information theft. Browser extensions can also be used to enhance security and privacy by blocking and modifying data communicated between the browser and websites. Manifest version 3 changes all of this. This is our objective analysis of Manifest version 3 in regards to security and privacy. We do not get into opinions about Google's product strategy. Manifest version 3 seems to follow the general privacy sandbox model that Google is building within their broad platform from Chrome, G Suite to Android, keeping data within their platform, and offering advertisers access to the user profile, basically metadata to advertise against. They also tighten up security and privacy controls quite a bit. As with most security and controls, it's a trade-off between security and functionality and or ease of use, specifically for the developers. Google has moved to restrict what extensions can do in Chrome. This likely affects the other Chromium-based browsers. This includes Microsoft Edge and Brave, which are based on the open-source Chromium. Browser extensions are built around a background page where functions happen out of sight. Google Chrome's manifest version 2 gives extensions in Chrome the choice of using an ephemeral event-based background page or to use a persistent background page. Google has implemented manifest version 3 which removes the choice, instead requiring all extensions to be based on service workers. Service workers are ephemeral, event-based, JavaScripts that run in the background and do not have access to the standard website API. Ephemeral pages get shut down and restarted repeatedly. Service workers don't have the same freedom to execute code that websites do, and there are limits to how long service workers can operate. Service workers are designed to enhance website functionality. Ironically, browser extensions are now required to be based off of service workers. Chromium Manifest version 2 allowed Google Chrome extensions to read and modify all the data communicated with websites you visit. Extensions based on Manifest version 2 use WebRequest, a flexible API that lets extensions intercept, block, or modify HTTP requests and responses. Manifest version 3 drops web request API data reading or viewing capability. It replaces it with declarative net request API. Chrome's declarative net request API lets extensions block or modify network requests by setting predefined rules without intercepting and viewing the data. The declarative net request API requires developers to define what their extension will do with specific requests ahead of time, choosing from a limited set of rules implemented by the browser. This deprecates the ability for extensions to run sophisticated functions that analyze each individual request. Extensions will no longer be able to process requests in a way that isn't covered by the existing rules. Unlike Manifest version 2, Manifest version 3 extensions can't load remote code like JavaScript or WASM files from the developers or integrated third-party servers. All logic must now be included in the extensions package when they're submitted to the Chrome Web Store for Google to review. This adds quite a bit of security controls from Google. Before Manifest version 3, extensions and apps would make it through the initial security audit and then change their product, yielding malicious or privacy-violating products in the app or web stores. One trade-off is that this does limit the developer's agility and flexibility to change their functionality to meet consumer demands. In Manifest version 2, it was possible to execute an arbitrary string of code using tabs.execute script and the code property on the options object. Manifest version 3 deprecated tabs.execute script and replaced it with scripting.execute script, which can be used to either inject a static file or a function. Also, the scripting permission now must be included in the manifest file. In one way, manifest version 3 enhances how extensions can protect privacy. Google updated the API to let extensions more tightly control what other sites or other extensions can access in their extension resources. In previous manifest, Chrome extensions provided a list of their web accessible resources to all websites and extensions. This provided unnecessary information that allowed for fingerprinting and or unintentional resource access. Instead of providing a list of files, developers can provide an array of objects, each of which can map a set of resources to a set of URLs or extension IDs. As we said earlier, the changes are a trade-off. They reduce the vulnerability and attack surface associated with browser extensions. Manifest version 3 limits the ability to collect data from the browser or log keystrokes. Manifest version 3 reduces the digital fingerprint associated with extensions and it enables the web store to control and enforce security standards. But extensions will also have limited ability to enhance security and privacy, because extensions have lost their capability to monitor the conversation between your Chromium-based browser and websites. 
As advertising technology and malicious threats evolve, extension developers will have limited ability to adapt. Check out our video about advertisers evolving tracking tactics. Mozilla Firefox maintains the largest extension market that's not based on Chromium. Mozilla has said it will support Manifest version 3 in the interest of cross-browser compatibility, but will still provide more options and continue to support more robust API capabilities in addition to supporting Google's declarative net request API. Apple also announced support for Manifest version 3 in Safari, seemingly in the interest of cross-browser compatibility. They are also providing other options such as non-persistent background pages as an alternative for the Manifest version 3-based service worker background scripts. It looks like Apple will also offer extensions other API options, in addition to the Manifest version 3 declarative net request API. The major browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and Safari will be able to use the same extension code in Google Manifest version 3-based extensions. But Safari, Firefox, and other non-Chromium-based browsers will still have more robust options for browser extensions, allowing for fundamentally different extensions. Web browser extensions can enhance security and privacy, but also expand the attack surface. Non-Chromium-based browsers will have a larger attack surface and more vulnerability to spying and key logging from extensions. But the non-Chromium-based browsers will also have more robust security and privacy extensions available, unless you are using one of the cross-browser compatible extensions.